Hey there peeps, welcome back to my YouTube channel for another Inktober video. Now I know October is over, but I have a lot of these, so I'm hoping that you will still want to watch them even though the challenge is over, which I did, yay, successfully finish. I am so, so glad that I did another one. Um, Inktober, as you guys know, is one of my favorite challenges, and I don't think it will ever stop being my favorite challenge. Um, the prompt for this particular piece was ephemeral, which means lasting for a very short time. Now, this one kind of got me stumped for a second. Like, I was like, what's ephemeral? Like, life? But then I'm starting to get philosophical and I don't even know. So I decided to go with a flower because um, flowers are ephemeral. They you know, are here for a little bit and then they go away. Um, so I did a take on an old series that I used to have of um, flower girls where their hairs are flowers. So um, I hope you like this concept. I'm using again the G nib with the Tachikawa um, nib holder and I'm using the Deleter Black One ink that is very pretty and it dries really fast. Um, I really like this ink. I have most of the Deleter inks. I have Black One, Black Two, Black Three, Black Four, which is a super glossy one. And um, this one is by far my favorite. Um, now I'm going in with some fountain pen ink, again with that nail art brush that you guys know I love so much. And um, I really hated this piece um, while I was working on it, to be honest. Looking at it now, I like it, um, but at the time, it, I was on the struggle bus. It was just really unfortunate for me to be working on this piece when I was in such a bad mood. But um, overall, I really enjoy how it turned out. I didn't think that just the little bit of wash with the... Um, thin lines was enough of a pop, so I decided to black out the background. And I started with a thicker brush, but then I decided that it was gonna be hard to get into those little nooks and crannies in the lines, so then I went back with a smaller brush, and then I filled it in with a thicker brush to save time. Now this is the part that really saved this piece for me. The gold signal pen really did all the difference when I put in the little pollen um, stalks and um, I actually turned out, at that point I was just like, oh it, it doesn't completely suck. So <laughs> hooray! The next piece is the opposite of the first one. Um, the theme for this one was eternal, lasting or existing forever without end or, or beginning. And my first thought was the Noroboros, you know, the snake that's constantly eating its tail from um, Hindu mythology. But um, then I was brainstorming because I wasn't sure if that was going to be too on the nose. and. And then I went with the hourglass and then the raven on top of it and then I decided to make the raven have a skull face and have some of its bones showing 
um, to show that it's neither alive nor dead. And um, this is just one of those pieces that oh, I loved it from beginning to end, which is really fun to do right after um, I was on the struggle bus with the previous one. Um, this one was really nice. Um, I really like all the little dots that I'm putting back there. Um, I don't normally do pointillism with my inking, but I decided to. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna fix the, uh, the camera angle in just a minute. But um, this piece was done mostly with the uni pin uh, felt tip or micron type pens. Uh, I really like the pens, like I said before, they are really light fast and they're really permanent, um, so that's always good. For the crow's feathers, I decided to go with the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen, because it's much easier to get that kind of feathery texture when you're using a brush instead of the really fine tip pen. is called monocopsis, which means the subtle but persistent feeling of being out of place. This one I tried several different sketches in my sketchbook to figure out what would be the best composition. Uh, I thought of first a bunch of humans inside boxes because everybody is in their box and you know there are things that you feel like you have to do and be and um, but we're all in the same shaped box um, but then I thought of the idea of you know the black sheep and how they stand out uh, it crossed my mind that maybe I should make her be wearing like a wolf's pelt instead of a sheep's pelt but um, I scrapped that idea in the sketching phase um, I did find a really good reference photo for the sheep but I tried not to use it um, so carefully I just wanted to kind of you know um, to see how the sh sheep would overlay each other and then stylize it as, as much as possible. Um, but overall, I really liked this composition and this drawing from the start. I reckon her face and her sheep pelt could have been a little bit better, but overall, um, it is what it is, and I was trying not to spend, uh, 
a lot of time doing these. I wanted them to be quick and that I could just sit down and knock them out, um, even though I did spend a lot of time thinking about them beforehand um, during the day whenever I was out with just my sketchbook. So this isn't that like easy, oh, I'm gonna sit down and work and you know, just magically something awesome is gonna come out. Not that this is awesome, but you know what I mean. Um, but what I mean is, is like, I'm always thinking about the art and the pieces and a lot of more work goes into it than what you can see even if you know you don't realize but what I'm trying to say I think is is that just if you continue thinking about your passion and you you know you you do it with your eyes closed and when you're sleeping then improvement is right around the corner there is no other way to put it because the only way is up like you know you need to release a thousand bad drawings in order to get that one good one and i think my inktobers really show that like i had a few doozies but one and once in a while it was just like yes like i can draw finally But yeah, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, oh yeah, look, I made a mistake that I have to go back in and fix it later, and I will. But um, I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, um, like and subscribe. Leave me a message down in the comments. I love reading the comments, and I'm always looking to improve. So if you have any ideas or tips for me, or how this could be a better experience for you, please don't hesitate to tell me. And I will catch you guys uh, next time. Thank you again and um, see you soon. Bye!